Hello everybody. I am back with another CD update today and getting away from the filthy, dirty and horrible stuff again as I did a, a while ago in my uh, thrash update. I have got three more thrash CDs to show you. Triple thrash threat, let's call it. Not easy to say if you were pissed, that is it. Um, let's get straight on with it. The first band, this is a Polish band. This is their debut full length and only full length from 2015. Um, it's on the Punishment 18 Records label out of Italy. And this is the band Raging Death and their debut. Look at that album cover. That drew me in straight away. The name of the band, the album cover, like a moth to a flame for that stuff. Well, this is um, thrash metal with a real nice dose of traditional heavy metal. Uh, Polish, so they, they definitely remind me of uh, the band Dragon. Uh, countrymen of theirs. Nice galloping sort of riffing which always sort of lends that traditional sort of heavy metal style. The, the older I've got and the more thrash I listen to, the more I've sort of come to realise that a lot of thrash metal really does incorporate that traditional heavy metal. And it, it it's never sort of dawned on me until the past few years, to be honest, which is really quite strange. Uh, or maybe I'm just stupid. Um, got a real European sound to it. The vocal style um, is that. It's hard to explain, really, but it's a lot of bands do it. A lot of the second rate sort of thrash metal bands do it. And they have this really sort of un unstructured vocal delivery over the top of the riffs which sometimes kind of makes it a little bit disjointed. Makes it always interesting. Um, but it, it's a real sort of fractured structure, if that's the right sort of way of saying it. Love the artwork on that. But I think it really gives it that European style. Only the sort of European thrash bands did that style. The Bay Area, an American um, style of doing things is always a little bit different. But it's superb. It's not the um, sort of mosh pit type of thrash metal. It's got gang vocals in there. There's great lead guitar work. Uh, just some great riffing. And like I say, it's got a real, got its heart um, really with traditional heavy metal. But it's a superb, uh, superb release. And Punishment 18 records out of Italy. They put out some brilliant, brilliant stuff. And I'm a sucker for thrash metal. And I'm a sucker for thrash metal albums with covers like that. That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> Next up, we have got another band with the name Death in them. These are from Germany. This is their um, debut full length, again from 2015, but I think this is one of two albums these guys have got. Um, and this is the band Running Death. And this is called Overdrive. Again, on the Punishment 18 label there, as you can see, this is more mosh pit moment thrash. This is this is riff face thrash. Is it is he doing the riff face there? Maybe not quite. But yeah, this is this is superb, sort of memorable riffs throughout mosh pit moments uh, the riff face in abundance so sort of those nice breakdowns in the in the tracks you know when it's coming along and it just breaks off and you're like oh here we go um quite sort of melodic in places vocally very melodic uh great choruses um Again, with them being from Germany, they've got a real sort of European sound to them. Um, and what I liked about this is when it when it first kicked off, it's got this nice sort of eerie bass intro. 
and then when that sort of has, has ran its time it comes in with this riff and it's real epic sort of sounding and really draws you in and sort of makes you think oh hey you know these guys uh, these guys are sort of serious it's a real epic again i suppose sort of doused in that traditional heavy metal style but um did i show you the inside yeah i think i did but yeah superb again you know second rate thrash but i but i love that you know it's from 2015 and, and thrash metal wasn't really a genre that was garnering that much interest and i just love the fact that these sort of bands were uh, that these bands were doing that and still you know playing it with a passion you can, you can hear that in them but yeah superb running death and overdrive and last but not least this is a band i've shown before uh, a previous album one of my updates this is a band from kerala in india i think i picked this up from um, chris at cavernous records this is released um last year on awakening records and we're putting out some brilliant uh, brilliant al brilliant releases brilliant albums this is this is th this is this band's third full length and that is amorphia this album is called lethal dose again great bit of cover art and this is aggressive in your face thrash metal speedy reminds me of um early sort of slayer the other album that i uh, talked about was very similar uh, but this is probably even more aggressive um like i say early sort of slayer and and because of that sort of speed and ferocity that they're playing with it almost gives it um like a blackened edge to it gives it that sort of that dark dark thrash that's that should be a, a genre that dark thrash i kind of like that for a, um a style of music because you do have upbeat thrash but you've also got that dark thrash haven't you um but yeah not too many mosh pit moments on this because it is fairly um, aggressive it does drop down some slower moments and you know gives you that sort of time to catch your breath uh, gruff vocals just just aggressive thrash metal but these guys uh, are, are, are doing it really well you know and Kerala in India it's not exactly um, a hotbed I don't suppose of, of thrash metal maybe I'm wrong maybe there is a really good scene over there I don't know um, but uh, it's great, isn't it, to see bands that coming from places like that, which who would have struggled significantly 20 years ago. It's great to see them being able to put their music out there, and these guys are definitely worth checking out. Amorphia and Lethal Dose. Um, in the background, we are listening to, not for Ash, we are listening to some... Finnish grindcore in the uh, shape of Rotten Sound. This is their debut release, Under Pressure. This is a, a reissue put out on Dissonance Productions. Only a grindcore album could have 22 tracks on it, can't it? That's what it's all about. Uh, I know these guys recently played um, at the Damnation Festival and I what when I saw that, them on the line, I probably would love to have gone to that. But alas, it wasn't to be. That's what's playing in the background. Rotten Sound, Under Pressure, Grindcore from Finland. Um, that's probably going to be one of my last thrash updates. I'm going to get back to the filthy, dirty, horrible stuff that keeps me um, so interested. But... Um, it's nice to change it up every now and again, isn't it? Um, I don't always pick up many sort of thrash CDs these days because a lot of the, the modern thrash bands are just, just sounding a little bit too samey right now for me. 
Um, but a lot of these bands, like I say, these were sort of 2015 releases, you know, getting on for 10 years ago, and I like that. They've still got that real old school. If, it, if it's thrash metal with an old school, old school sound to it, I'm all over it. But um, yeah, I hope it was something a bit different for you anyway. Um, thank you, as always, for taking the time out of your day to watch. It is always appreciated. I'll be back again soon with another video. Until then, bye for now.